In this video, we'll be talking about the top five ways that you can earn money online as a college student with zero investment and no coding knowledge. I'm currently a third year student myself and have built over 11 different sources of income in under two years. So in this video, you will only find the things that have been tried and tested by me and will give you the exact amount of money that you can earn from it. And don't worry, I won't be telling you to go and write subtitles or translate or transcribe text because let's be be honest you can hardly earn anything from it i have added all the sources of income from where you can learn these skills down in the description box below so do check it out other than that i'm also looking for someone who's good at the third side hustle and the sixth one was my first side hustles to begin with through which i made my first 15000 rupees so don't miss out on these points the first one is content writing this skill is actually the most underrated one on this list i've seen many of my youtuber friends as well as established startups who wanted to find good content writers in their niche but just couldn't because there's such a shortage of good talent here. Now content writing skill can actually complement any of the skills that you already possess. Say you're into crypto space and have good knowledge about it and if a crypto firm starts looking for a content writer which right now almost all of them are you would be the perfect candidate for it especially because of possessing both the knowledge about crypto and content writing skill to complement it. So always try to complement this skill of content writing with some deep knowledge about a particular subject and only focus on that niche. So how much time will it take to actually earn from it? To learn the basics of content writing, you wouldn't need more than four to five days in order to understand them thoroughly. However, to achieve deep knowledge in this field is something that you will only develop once you start putting out content pieces. The fastest way to learn would be to work under someone who's already a well-established content writer in the niche that you're targeting. This way you will be able to learn what works and what doesn't without having to go through the entire trial and error process. So how much is the demand in the market currently for content writers? As I said, the demand for good content writers in today's time is quite high, but only for good content writers. If you're someone who's just starting out, you would have to first make yourself known by building a personal brand and having your content posted out. Now let's talk about how much you can really earn from it. If you're just starting out, the average salary that you can expect from it would be 25,000 rupees per month. However, if you become a well-established content writer, then the sky is the limit for your income. The second side hustle that can make you a lot of money is making online courses. Creating a page online course can be approached in two major ways. The second one is something that I'm aiming for but for now let's talk about what is the first method. It is by signing up as an educator or teacher on platforms like Udemy, Skillshare or even Unacademy for that matter depending on your niche and target audience. This way even if you don't have a large audience base you can still sell your courses to the existing audience on those platforms. The second method is by creating your own website and hosting your courses over there. If you take any of the top YouTube creators for now who sell their online courses, they mostly opt for having their own platform. This is because they already have an existing audience base who is interested in buying their courses and don't have to depend on other platforms for it. Now even if you go with the second option, there are a lot of good websites that will help you create a website to sell courses online like Wix, Spay, Teachable and so on. So how much time does it really take? Now this really depends on your courses but apart from recording the courses you would also have to spend time on editing the videos, structuring the entire course and also spend time on getting feedback and improving your content quality. So is there really a demand in the market? As far as the demand goes, right now everyone is learning online. But yes, it would be really difficult for you to get sales unless you have already provided people with a ton of value for free. For example, I've already posted a ton of valuable content on my channel. Now, if I start selling my courses in which I teach everything in detail, then I would already have an audience for it. So as far as the demand goes, you need to make sure you create your own personal brand for it. So how much can you really earn from it? The earning potential is quite straightforward here. If you're selling your courses on other platforms like Udemy or Skillshare, then they have already laid down how much they pay their educators. But as far 
far as selling courses on your own platform is considered let's say your one course costs around 1000 rupees and you manage to bring in just 100 people to buy it it's a straightforward 1 lakh rupees of pure income for you of course i'm not considering the cost for maintaining the website or marketing costs because those will vary significantly the third side hustle is video editing now this is a skill so much in demand that even i'm looking for a good video editor usually there's a slight difference between being able to edit videos in a professional manner with the most perfect color grading transitions and so on and then there's editing which hooks you on to the video. For example, in the start of this video itself, there were over 10 transition effects within just 5 seconds. That was to get you hooked on to watching this video till the end. These effects need not be professional, nor do you have to have Netflix types video editing. So learn the difference between the two and be better at grabbing the attention of the audience as well. Now there are a ton of amazing video editing tools out there but the one that I prefer is DaVinci Resolve. It is completely free so you can start with downloading it right off. So Ali, how much time does it really take? Usually learning this skill requires you to at least make 50 to 100 video edits before you can call yourself a professional and sell your services. However, it would only take you around a week to learn the basics of video editing. The demand in the market for this skill as you can clearly see is quite high. If you are a good video editor you can mail me with your previous edits as I'm constantly looking for good video editors myself. As far as the earning potential goes, it varies significantly for this skill. If you're just starting out, you might get around 500 to 1000 rupees per video. But as you start getting better, you can even make over 4 to 5 lakhs per month through video editing itself. The next side hustle that we have over here is affiliate marketing. Now, affiliate marketing is not as complicated as you might think it is. It basically means you're selling someone else's uh, goods and services and you're getting a commission for it. Now this is obviously not a sustainable source of income but yes I have seen people making tons of money through it. Even if you go to the description box of this video there are two to three affiliate marketing links here as well. Now these links do not just provide me with a commission but they also give you some bonuses as well. So it becomes a win-win situation for both the affiliate marketer as well as its customers. So Ali how long does it take to learn affiliate marketing skill? Now affiliate marketing is not a skill in itself but rather it complements other skills that you already possess say for example you have your personal brand on youtube and you're a youtuber you can basically put amazon links of the camera gear or your lighting and so on in the description box and when people click on it you get a commission for it so instead of seeing affiliate marketing as just one skill i would rather tell you to be better at making your personal brand and also reviewing items that you really like and then posting it online. The demand for this side hustle is really, really high. People constantly want to know which is the best product. They want a comparison between which is the best laptop, which is the best camera gear. Even for me, I was actually searching for a camera myself and there I found out about uh, different websites, you know, comparing these different cameras and having their affiliate links for each one of them. So whenever a customer wants to buy any of these cameras they can just click on that link and they get a commission for it now the earning potential really depends on the traffic that you can generate on your website so i won't be giving you a fixed number for this particular side hustle but you can check out this particular video in which i've talked about how much you can earn through affiliate marketing as well the next side hustle is graphic designing and i don't just want to talk about graphic designing in general but rather i will be talking about making thumbnails and and logos. These are some of the things that I used to do in my free time for other YouTube creators before I became a YouTube creator myself and uh, I exactly know how much you can earn from this skill. Now of course for graphic designing you can start learning Photoshop and start learning all those different tools and become a professional at it but when it comes to making thumbnails, making logos you don't need to be a professional for it. You can basically learn this skill in a day or two and you don't even need Photoshop for it. You can make thumbnails nails and logos on Canva itself and that is something that I use till date. In order to find good clients, you can basically mail YouTubers and other content creators to make their thumbnails and handle their graphic designing part. The earning potential for this side hustle can go from 200 rupees per thumbnail to even 1000 rupees 
for every thumbnail that you make and content creators need thumbnails every single day if you can just handle 5 to 10 content creators you can make 5 to 10 thumbnails per day making a total of 10000 rupees every single day the next side hustle that you can pursue is social media management now social media management was my first side hustle to begin with and through that i made over 15000 rupees that was my first 15000 rupees by a side hustle the way i got into social media management management was really interesting and this was before i started my youtube channel now i started messaging a lot of businesses in order to handle their instagram accounts and the demand was so high in the market that in just a day or two i got my first client in now of course i went in with a proper proposal in mind and a proper road map in order to grow their instagram account and that's how i landed with that client but yes you can make a lot of money through social media management itself big businesses are are constantly looking for young talent in order to manage their social media accounts especially their instagram accounts so go out there and make a proper email template and start mailing each and every one the earning potential for this side hustle if you're managing multiple uh, instagram accounts is over 3 lakh rupees per month and this is not a figure that i'm just randomly throwing out in the air this is actually being made by some of my friends who are into social media management right now so now when you start earning your money learn how to invest it and watch this particular video to do just that